listening. Mass has been celebrated for the happy repose of the soul of Michael Gardner. Behold, now she follows the Lamb who is crucified for us, powerful in virginity and modesty in her offering, a sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Now with your spirit. Her brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr, St. Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The elders of Israel and all the leaders of the tribes the princes and the ancestral houses of the children of Israel came to King Solomon in Jerusalem to bring up the Ark of the Lord's Covenant from the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before the King Solomon during the festival in the month of Ethanim, the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priests took up the Ark. They carried the Ark of the Lord and the tent of meeting, the meeting tent, with all the sacred vessels that were in the tent. The priests and the Levites carried them. King Solomon and the entire community of Israel, present for the occasion, sacrificed before the ark sheep and oxen, too many to number or count. The priests brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord to its place beneath the wings of the cherubim in the sanctuary, the holy of holies of the temple. The cherubim had their wings spread out over the place of the ark, sheltering the ark and its poles from above. There was nothing in the ark but the two stone tablets which Moses had put there at Horeb when the Lord had made the covenant with the children of Israel at their departure from the land of Egypt. When the priests left the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of the Lord so that the priests could no longer minister because of the cloud, since the Lord's glory had filled the temple of the Lord. Then Solomon said, the Lord intends to dwell in the dark cloud. I have truly built you a princely house, a dwelling where you may abide forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jar. Let us enter into his dwelling. Let us worship at his footstool. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Advance, O Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your majesty. May your priests be clothed with justice. Let your faithful ones shout merrily for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, reject not the plea of your anointed. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Thank you. 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to the land of Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried around the surrounding country and began to bring the sick on the mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever village or town or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that he may to only touch the tassel of his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading describes for us all the pageantry that surrounded kind of like the grand opening of the temple. Now the temple was constructed by Solomon, then all of the sacrifices that we heard about, all of the different kinds of sculptures, the angels, the, 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 the different uh, kinds of materials that were used for the different places were there, and the beauty of the uh, Holy of Holies that was place. And then inside was the Ark of the Covenant, which contained the two stones given by Moses then too. And then Solomon professed that the Lord will abide there forever. But then history tells us that that temple was destroyed twice, and the Ark of the Covenant was removed, never to be found again. So God's former dwelling place was not destroyed, however, because it does reside, doesn't reside just in earthly vessels. God's dwelling place resides in us. But God's dwelling place really was shown and made manifest through the Incarnation. God became one of us so that he could show how he could dwell among us. And so we have God's Spirit, God living with us all the time, especially throughout the church. You know, we, we read in, gospel, in, in Mark's Gospel about how people keep on coming to Jesus for all of the healings, for the feedings, um, to, for the teaching. And when we think about when we come to Mass and we come to our church, that's exactly what Jesus is still doing to us. We have the liturgy of the Word where God is speaking to us. Jesus is not, we're not just reading a book. God is speaking directly to each of us and how this applies in our lives. We come to the Eucharistic table to be fed just like the thousands that were fed before and continue to be fed and nourished by our Lord himself. And the church provides us with the sacraments, especially with the Eucharist too, that does bring us that healing power of Christ, that grace that allows us to know Jesus' presence and that he will always be there with us and nothing will touch us. We celebrate a martyr today, St. Agatha. St. Agatha, we know very, very little about her in reality. What we know is that she gave her life. She shed her blood for the Lord. But she understood this whole concept of being a dwelling place for the Lord because as a very young child, she was designated by her, by her parents too. She was going to be the gift to God. And she herself wanted that. But she came from a wealthy family. And she was also very beautiful. And one of the Roman officials knew of this and wanted to marry her. And there was no way that she was going to give in because she was consecrated to God. And so because of that time, if you were found to be a Christian, you could still be put to death. He figured that threatening her would make her give in and that he would get his way. But the Spirit of the Lord was with her. And just as Jesus told us to sacrifice out of love, she was willing to sacrifice everything, including her own life, so that she would not give in to that. And I am not going to go into the descriptions of St. Agatha's martyrdom. They are pretty brutal and pretty grotesque in terms of what he had done to her. And eventually she lost her life for it. But she recognized, and in one of the visions that have come from this, is that St. Peter himself came to her in a vision to, in order to continue to give her strength. And she was just joyful. I am so grateful for being able, given the grace, to fight this fight. But now, I'm yours. And with that, she died. And she was now 
now she was with the Lord forever. We think about the gift that we have, and we think about God among us, and we think about all God does for us in terms of teaching and feeding and healing, which he still continues to do. But we also recognize that Jesus is within us by virtue of our baptism. We are all adopted sons and daughters of God. We are, you know, we can call Jesus our own, God our Father, because we are part of the family and we bring this to others. That's why we are part of the body of Christ. And we continue to bring that teaching, that feeding, and that healing to others as part of who and what we are called to be, children of God. With hope in the abundant goodness of our loving God, we now bring him our cares and our concerns. For vocations of the priesthood and religious life, may the Lord bless our holy church with committed men and women. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For elected officials, may they work to bring about a just society for everyone, especially those whose voices are often unheard. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For those burdened by any kind of difficulty, especially those who are ill or struggling with their pain. May God's grace bring them comfort and relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all this faith community, may we evangelize in our everyday lives through our words and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died. Remember especially the intention of today's Mass, Michael Garger. May they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own personal intentions, which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you provide for all people and bring healing to those who call upon you. Hear the prayers we offer you, we pray, and grant them according to your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share the divinity of Christ who humble himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. And the grace of our Lord for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of the <coughs> At your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of suffering and passion were pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Now and your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised, and very sufferings are but wonders in your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. In their endurance you grant them firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes to the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their portions, gifts we pray, as sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Agatha, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be who are unable to be with us today or unable to receive the Eucharist at this time will now pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament 
and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. The Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them into the springs of the water of life. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 O oh God, who bestowed on blessed St. Agatha, crown among the saints of her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, be with you. Oh, and with you. Sir. Sir. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day, everyone.